All right, guys. So welcome to another video. And today we are not talking about the Mi 11X. Don't worry. We are talking about the Redmi K20 Pro over here. But the, because this is in recovery, I have sort of kept this here to show you the change log. This is a quick install guide for the best or the possible best MIUI setup that you can have on your K20 Pro. It's going to include the latest Abix ROG edition, which is based on enhanced MIUI 12.5.6. You will be including, uh, you know, you'll be using Marisa kernel over here. So it will be a very, very interesting video to see. So stay tuned till the end. Now, before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so we have something special on our hands over here. A big ROG edition version 12.5.6.0 stable MIUI 12 Android 11 released on the 20th of February 2022. So this is a 2.6 gigabyte download, of course. MIUI, what else do you expect? Now let's click on the change log over here. A beast ROG edition enhanced plus. So let's see here. Released only for K20 Pro. Removed unnecessary apps, added performance mode toggle, 4GB swap memory, F2FS supported, need F2FS patch and Android 11 DFE, added new ROG logo, improved stability, added MIUI 13 wallpapers, added smart toolbox, added music playback tile in control center, added ROG advanced power menu, added Harman Kardon audio. I don't know how well that works. We'll test that in the full review. And don't review or judge after flashing the ROM, let the ROM settle down. So that is the reason on this particular phone, I'll be using it for more than 24 hours and then see how it exactly goes. And in this particular video, we're going to see how the installation is going to be. Now, this is a K20 Pro over here. You need to take care of a lot of things in order to ensure how the flashing goes. So this particular video will show you how to install it with F2FS, which will give you slightly better read write speeds for your storage and stuff like that. Now, of course, you need to have the ROM file, you need to have the Android 11 DFE, you need to have Majisk, you need to have Marissa kernel, and you also need to have the F2FS patch. So these are all the files that you will need. And there is a specific version of Orange Fox recovery that you need to have flashed on your K20 Pro in order to get this to work, okay? Make sure all your data is backed up because we will be wiping everything. Make sure you have more than 50% battery. Remove all your face unlock, fingerprint, pin pattern, everything, and remove your MI account if you're coming from MIUI and then reboot. Now, once you've taken care of all of those and you have the files on the internal storage or on a USB pen drive like I do, you can boot into TWRP and follow the remaining steps. All right, now, what you need to do next is press and hold volume up and power till the time you see the Redmi or MI logo, and then you need to release them the moment you see the logo so that you can boot into this particular TWRP. Now, once you've done that, the first thing we need to do is we need to change the file system to F2FS. So go here to the three dot menu over here, Go to manage partitions, select data, select the tick mark and select change FS or change file system. Select F2FS and swipe to change. Now, as I said, you need to back up all your data because the steps that we are going to follow is going to wipe everything. Now we've changed the file system to F2FS. So we'll go to reboot and select recovery. Now at this point, there is nothing on the phone. So it will not boot, it will just boot loop. So make sure you reboot to recovery. All right, now once we are back, let it load, go to wipe, Dalvik cache system vendor data. I don't have anything on my internal storage, so I'll wipe my internal storage as well. Now remember, when you format data to F2FS, if you have anything on your phone's internal storage, that will be wiped. So make sure you keep the files to a computer and then copy them over once the format is done, right? Now, once all the wiping is done, what you need to do then is first go to this menu, select the OTG and first flash the ROM. So this is the ROM over here. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this is of course MIUI based, so it will take time to flash, say about two to three minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see over here, we have no errors. The ROM has flashed absolutely fine. So go back to the main screen. We are not done yet, right? Now, once we flash the ROM, we need to flash the F2FS patch. So select this file over here, swipe to confirm flash. Okay, now once the F2FS patch is flashed, we will flash DFE, this is the one. All the files are linked in the description. 
so we flashed dfe now next what we need to do is we will go ahead and flash majisk because for marissa kernel you need to have majisk so majisk 24.1 swipe to confirm flash okay once majisk is successfully flashed the last thing that you need to flash is marissa kernel select this one and swipe to confirm flash as you can see it says majisk detected right now everything is flashed so go back to the reboot menu and reboot to system right now this is a big saroji edition it is a heavily modified mii based rom so it will take 8 to 10 minutes for the first boot that is what they have mentioned and even after 10 to 11 minutes if you don't really have the device booted successfully you need to go ahead and do a format data but what we can do is the moment you see this boot animation for 5 to 10 seconds just to be safe press and hold the power button that is a force reboot keep it pressed till the time you see the device rebooting okay okay now we can leave it alone for 10 minutes and let's see how good or bad the booting process goes because we've done a lot of things and hopefully it will boot just fine with f2fs on miui let's wait for the boot to complete all right, so just like that, we have booted in less than five minutes. So that is a good thing. The force reboot always helps. Now quickly, I'm going to skip through the setup part over here so that I can go to, you know, the settings about section and show you that we do have Marisa kernel installed and uh, this combo should give you pretty decent performance. Now remember with this particular combination, you can also go ahead and use other Marisa versions like an earlier version. If somebody is telling you that that performs better, in my opinion, uh, one of my elite testers Pratik has mentioned that R10 release 10 of Marisa does perform really, really well. You can also use the overclocked version of Marisa kernel with this particular ROM. But remember, you have to do it at your own risk because if it damages your device and I'm pretty sure most of the K20 Pros out there are out of warranty. So overclocking and stuff, you know, I would recommend you guys to do it at your own risk. But uh, we are almost done through the setup over here. Let's quickly go to the main screen. That was pretty quick and neat. Abik's ROG info. Let's go to all specifications and Android version 11, Marisa R70. So all in all, this is the quick step-by-step -step guide to install latest Abik's ROM with Marisa kernel. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.